Recently, I was contacted by Zach, aka ZHC, to do an illustration piece within 24 hours. And I was like, oh, cool, man, let's do this thing. And in this episode, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be showing you guys my process from start to finish, how I did that illustration piece. And I finished it in 18 hours. Let's do this thing. Okay, even though this episode is all about me going through the process of how I made the piece, I'm gonna focus on getting ideas. The idea is actually the foundation of your drawing piece and I wanna stress on how I actually get ideas. There are tons of ways to actually get your ideas, like tons of techniques out there, but the thing is, there's too many out there, it's oversaturated. Let's just pick one and focus on that. And that is, draw what interests you. So whatever interests you, whatever thing that interests you, pick that thing up and integrate that into your art. So for this illustration piece, Zach actually gave me a bunch of his sketches and scribbles and asked me to like, you know, just pick one of those things. And I was like, I went through all of them. I really like this big demon slash dragon thing that's staring out at a character. And I thought I liked that contrast of like the huge, the big versus small, like the David versus Goliath feel that I had in, the, on the, in that sketch. And uh, so yeah, I just, I just picked that one and went with it. Okay, there are tons of ways for me to do this piece. Okay, you know, you put a dragon, like a typical dragon, red dragon that's got scales, teeth, fire, blah, 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 blah. The thing is that it's been done before. If you want your illustration to be different, if you want your art to be different, you gotta think a bit different. And how do you do that? The best way to do that, in my opinion, is to bring yourself into your art. So I was thinking and I looked at the stuff that interested me and I was really interested by this demon Indian masks that were around. They hang these masks in front of houses and cars. So it's like a thing that scares away bad luck. And that's the point of those masks. So you see this big painting behind me? Uh, I, uh, I did this painting uh, like a while back inspired by that and also like big bright colors and shapes and forms and I integrated all those things and my love for that Indian demon masks and I just took those two things together and merged them and did this piece and I also tested it out like on my sketchbook with other couple of other drawings I did a while back so I thought why not why not I take my inspiration and my love and my fascination for those demon masks and take it and put it into this illustration piece. And that's where the thing started. So that's where I got the idea of how I wanted this piece to be. The thing is most of you might overlook this and just like, oh, hey, that's a great idea. I'll probably use that in my drawing and you'll just skip this video and you'll forget to do that. But here's the thing, I want you, I want you right now, like take a piece of paper like this and take a pen and write down one or two things that really interests you and try to integrate that into your art probably in the coming week or the coming days or coming pieces that you're doing. Like try to integrate that and see if it works. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't work, hey, try another one. Right? But take action, take action, pick something that interests you and put it into your piece because that's something fascinating. I don't know why this works. Draw what interests you and draw what you want to know more about. I wanted to know more about demon masks and I integrated that into my piece. So once the ideation phase got done, I moved on to the next one, which is my friend sketching. Usually I sketch on my paper, like with a good old fashioned pencil. I'm a traditionalist, but lately I've been very good uh, at getting, or no, no, very, no, what? I'm getting good at digital art. Like I'm finding the tools easier. I, I like it, it's more nice. I'm able to produce the same level of results that I can on my traditional art in my digital medium. So. 
So started sketching on my tablet and uh, you know I was just messing around I was just seeing what works and has I had this idea of how I wanted this demon to be I also wanted this piece to be exactly similar to the sketch the initial sketch Zach gave me so I just made sure that is the case there I like I want it to be similar but not you know like too far away but also be different at the same time from the usual dragons and demons and David versus Goliath uh, themed pieces out there like I wanted this to be different so yeah I sketched it I like the sketch I locked in on the sketch and the next step was guidelines so took out my Canson sheet Canson sheet yeah I think it's a Canson Canson no Strathmore Bristol board that's the one I used and uh, I took out my Strathmore Bristol board I started using my Prismacolor coal erase pencils and started uh, doing the guidelines and the guidelines were done with these big big shapes and forms put them together the thing is guys I, I keep telling people this art is pretty damn simple the techniques are pretty damn simple what makes the art artist or art different is the you know the artist or the, how the artist approaches the thing you know the creativity side of things the techniques are simple like the whole thing can be broken down into simple shapes and forms take those forms draw them into perspective know your composition like you know, know where you can place things and you know when you when you put those things together the, the whole thing works and that's what it did. So once I was done with the guideline phase, my friend, it is time for inking. I love inking. And I wanted this piece to be an inking masterpiece. Maybe not, maybe not exactly a masterpiece, but you know, I wanted to be good. So I spent a lot of time inking this piece. I, I was very patient, I was very focused. And here's the thing, here's the problem that I faced. This piece had a lot of details in it. So when you are doing a piece which has a lot of details and you, when you put a lot of details together, sometimes, sometimes it might look congested. So it might look chaotic. So what you need to do at that point as an artist, as a creative, is you need to manage the chaos. You need to know where the attention needs to go. For example, the collar around the uh, face of the demon was placed intentionally in that place so that you know I can separate the body of the demon which had equally high amounts of details as the face and I separated those things together and like I just separated them with a black thing like a black sh occlusion shadow around it like a black spot around it so that the face is differentiated from the body and these are like minute little things you need to make note of you need to you need to think about those things This piece really tested me, man. This piece really tested me in terms of colors. This, this, it was hard. I, I knew it, this had to be colorful. But the thing is, if I've learned anything from my, you know, my past works, colorful illustrations are not exactly multicolored illustrations. That's a difference. There is a difference in that. They look colorful because they use four or five primary colors or not even five is too much three to four primary colors on same side of the color wheel or the color spectrum put them together they look colorful and with added accents here and there so i did some color tests for this piece i knew red was my primary color reddish pinkish thing and uh, you know that was my primary color so what i did was i used the analogous color scheme so in color theory there are multiple color harmonies that you can use that like already tested out things you know like if you select certain colors and you put those colors together those things look really well so I use the analogous color scheme so I chose red and chose all the colors that is near red like purple and like pink like uh, yellow 
and uh, orange, you know, stuff like that. So all these colors together was my color palette for the dragon or the demon. So the coloring process and the system that I typically use for any sort of digital art is what I call the three-step process. First up is your midtones, your basic local values, your local colors, then comes the shadows, then comes the highlight. It works every single damn time. For some reason, it's just awesome on the point. Speaking of the three-step color, system I just released a course called digital art made simple it's a course for people who want to know how I color things how I do digital artworks from start to finish and how to make the process easy simple and effective and it takes you like holds your hand and takes you through the whole thing and most importantly in the end the course will make you take action on what you've learned so i just created this course it's easy it's fun it's it's simple it's effective i love it and it's on pre-orders right now it's coming out on august 5th but it's on pre-orders right now and the first 500 people who sign up will get a 50 percent discount like 50 percent half the course is on half the price right now so if you want to know more about my coloring stuff or how i make digital art like from start to finish check it out things down below the description so yeah, I use a three-step system, the coloring process for this piece. And uh, you know, it, it was a while for me to actually choose the colors, choose the right colors, you know, like, you know, like choose the proper color harmonies, but, but it, I nailed it. I freaking love the colors, how high, I love how it turned out in the end. And uh, yeah, the smokes, the colors, the wings on top of the demon. Summarize things, you got the ideation phase, then you got the sketching phase, then you got the guidelines, then you have inking, then you got coloring, which involves three steps. And of course, there are more steps to it, more than then the three steps, there are many intermediate steps inside the three steps, but you know, and uh, there are a lot of refinement steps, but the three steps is like the core idea. I'll probably make a video on that as well. But yeah, so that's the piece. And I really loved how this thing turned out. And uh, I actually made another piece for Zach of Dax, his character, and I used the same three-step coloring process for that. And that turned out even better in its own right. I like I like those two pieces so much. And uh, yeah, and I'm sending that piece to Zach. It, it should be out by now. So yeah, hope you guys like that and uh, make sure you implement what I said in this video. Go and draw what interests you. You'll be good. I'll see you guys in another episode. Cheerios! I'm not British. I'm just, I just mean that. I don't know why I did that. Cool. Bye bye.